did Ethiopia just step into the Bitcoin big leagues? I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this, I was so gassed. I was like around 2.25% of the world's Bitcoin mining now runs off Ethiopia's grid. That's about 8,000 coins a year worth nearly half a billion dollars. The government banking over $220 million just from electricity. And it sounds like a win, right? But here's where I started to feel a little bit confused, right? I started thinking about foreign miners eating while locals are sitting in the dark because most of the farms are foreign owned. Citizens face blackouts, yet the grid stays on for miners. Why are families in the dark while outsiders get in power? And remember, there are less than 1.3 million bitcoins left to mine. So if Ethiopia is burning energy for the last scraps, what happens when the final coin is dug up? What's the contingency there? Now, I know crypto heads will say mining won't end. Yeah, because miners will still earn from transaction fees. And energy experts argue that Ethiopia often has a surplus hydropower that locals can't even use because the grid is underdeveloped. So better to sell it than waste it. And both very, very fair points. But here's my real tension, right? 57 million Ethiopians still live without electricity. Factories sit idle, jobs aren't created. And here's the thing that really bugs me, right? Bitcoin is actually banned for locals. Ordinary Ethiopians can't even legally trade it, yet their energy is powering one of the biggest mining hubs in the world. Ethiopia doesn't even keep the Bitcoin, just the power bill. So if I was advising the government, I'd say energy is wealth. Reinvest the money into industry, electrification, set clear timelines, be transparent with your people, keep some Bitcoin. And honestly, most people aren't unwilling to chop small if they know when their next meal is coming. I keep saying this, right? And for the diaspora asking, how do we help? Push for transparency, back local energy projects, share skills. Mining is possible if you've got millions, but it's risky and it's extractive. The smarter players build power that lasts after Bitcoin is gone and mining ends because energy will stay. Let's talk in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think?